Hello survivors and welcome back to the next episode of Temtem Swarm. Now in today's episode we are going to be playing on one of the brand new Temtem. Uh, I have actually, or I did have kudos or sorry, pants on spare. So we already preemptively uh, put some points into the skill tree. We got some into range, some into damage, some into cooldown reduction, area, and then one into increased total projectile amount by one, which is really, really fantastic. The one thing that I have seen in this character is that he gets attack speed. I have absolutely no idea what the difference between cooldown and attack speed is, but one day we will work that all out when we speak to the developers. Anyway, let's go straight into it. We're going to be playing on uh, Ori, who is one of the new characters. We will go and unlock the Wind Egg, and we've also got Inky to go and play on as well in the future. But for today's video, it will be Ori. I don't know if you can play with these other ones. It doesn't say they locked for the demo. So we'll see if we have a way of finding them. Uh, if we can get these eggs, then we will land up playing more than just the, the three of them. But uh, for now, it's just going to be uh, these ones over here. And we'll play on Sapanku. I really like it. And we'll go from there. So here we go. You can see uh, Ori was the one that started off with a dash. And that's really cool. I think the plus one projectile is actually really, really good for the start, as you can see. And oh my goodness, we get two things over here. We've got data corruption. When striking an enemy, the projectile explodes and slows enemy temtem around it. Or we get fire tornado that moves in an area burning enemies. I really like the look of fire tornado. Oh my goodness. I meant the wording of it, like the look. It's a fire tornado. Who doesn't want to play with a fire tornado? And then it also looks like plus one projectile actually works on that as well. So really, really cool. Over here, we're going to grab ourselves. I don't know if I want to play with data corruption, but I guess I might as well. Uh, over here, let's go. Let's see. What does data corruption do? There we go. It is a, a front shooting skill. So we shoot the two, uh, I guess, data orbs. And if they hit something, then that will be that. But really, really cool. There is that other... Uh, gear piece that gives us another increase to our projectile amount so we will want to see that as well and then we do have our ultimate but we'll wait till there are a bit more temtem around us so that we can use that to make use of it as best as possible i don't believe there are any kudos that we can get that are going to revolve or evolve that are going to matter that have to do with the ultimate like they were with the other uh, with platy pent just chilling we're waiting for the first uh, objective to show up i actually can't remember where it was so uh, there are different places with the different maps and because i'm not really doing much afk farming in the game i can't really uh, get the time to take note of them we do get piercing, which works on our data burst, but do we want it to pierce? Actually, yeah, we can go piercing. That's perfectly fine. There we go. Now it's going to pierce an additional target, which means that it can uh, hit more targets, which makes sense. I don't know why I wouldn't want piercing on it. We did get the first objective, but there is quite a lot of XP sitting on the floor over here. So we just want to go and pick it all up. We did pick up the holster, which is what I was looking for, which increases the number of projectiles by an additional one, which is really, really good. And then I think we just need to like win the round and we should be able to get additional gear that we can use with this character, which will then give us the synergy uh, power ups and things like that. So. I don't know what they are or where to get them yet, but we'll have a look at the kudos at the end of the round and see if there's anything there that strikes, you know, out at us that says gear and how to unlock it. And that's probably how we are going to get that gear. So let's go data burst, go to its next uh, level. Beautiful. Definitely feels a little bit stronger than Platy Pet, but I think that's just because of the fire tornado. Since we do have three of them and they are like a massive AOE there. Alright, let's go. Just 
just so much XP over here, how can I not grab it? Well, a data burst gets a fourth projectile now, which is massive. <laughs> Look at the damage we do to the first elite. Ah, uh, by mistake, push space bar. So there's our ultimate, ladies and gentlemen, just so you can see it. I didn't want to push space bar, I was supposed to push dash. But I think I'm so used to Soulstone Survivors with the dash being on. I think dash space bar, I actually can't remember. I haven't played in a very long time, but we are going to be returning to that because I've got some very exciting stuff to show you. But uh, I digress, that's a different game, so let's not really get into it. Let's go and do this, where we have to destroy it over here. And that's going to give us some uh, XP, hopefully, or something good. Maybe it can give us an XP collection. Use our ultimate. I don't see any of the, the balls or any of it hitting the right area. But we do get another plus one projectile on our fire tornado, which is massive. It also felt like our uh, ultimate came back a lot faster than Platy Pets one does. So Platy Pets one, if you don't have the heatsink yet, uh, heatsink gives you ultimate cooldown. And uh, you can get it up every, like I think it's like 50 seconds or so. Whereas over here, if you saw, I think we already had it back up before 50 seconds. So we'll, we'll keep note of it next time, we'll, the time we use it and the cooldown of the ability. It could be that Platy Pets one is a lot stronger. Uh, let's see, 32 seconds or 35 seconds is when I used it. So let's see how long it takes for it to reappear after that. takes 10 seconds just for it to kind of show itself um over here motherboard is a gear fort digital techniques but as you can see there isn't a synergy for it um there is a synergy actually for the if you look here it shows you the drill and data corruption but it didn't actually even mention that so we need to go and get that to level five and we might have a synergy already over here so let's go and level drill up. Like normally it says to you it's a synergy, but for some reason it wasn't doing that for drill. So we need to get data corruption up all the way and see what that synergy or evolution turns out to be. very good to see uh, we did get an ultimate hit on the little dude over there the little dude the big frog over there there we go thank you very much give me my chest data corruption come on nope we got a dot uh, i mean data burst we did get data corruption and the fire tornado there is data burst gives it extra pierce as well as it levels up so the fact that we uh, landed up getting even more PS on it is really, really good. And we're going to go and just keep getting more and more upgrades. Also, it does look like it's about a minute or so just for the, 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 the cooldown of the ability, which is pretty much similar to what it was. Uh, I think it's just more, it feels a lot faster when you're playing on this character than if you're playing on the, the other one. Alright, there's Dota Corruption. We'll go and grab that. We should level up one more time here as well from these purple orbs. And we get to do the evolution. So we evolve into Zobian, which grabs uh, 70 HP, 8 damage, and uh, another 0.5 speed. Or we can go and level up Dota Corruption. I know there is a kudo for not evolving him one day, so maybe tomorrow we'll do that where we don't evolve him, but we beat the second stage. Uh, but for now, we are going to evolve him into his second evolution. And he doesn't look as cute right now. He looks more monstrous and more dangerous. I did completely forget that there was an egg for us to hatch as well. So we are going to go and do that over there in the top left corner. You can see the egg archon. I do like that they show you an egg icon. Also, Bold's Cloak, we are going to use it one day. Maybe we'll use it tomorrow. 
but not right now. Right now we are trying to get our data corruption up there so that we can see what a synergy looks like. Um, Bold's Cloak, what it does, I didn't actually read it or pause for you guys, but what it does is it makes it so that the XP doesn't last as long on the floor, but it gives you much more XP. And as you level it up, it reduces the time XP stays on the floor, but it increases the amount of XP you get from it. So essentially you land up getting about uh, 1.75 times more XP, depending on the, the one that you pick up. And that's going to be really, really good, especially when you're trying to farm levels on your Temtem or uh, things like that. If you want to try and get the evolutions done and dusted and so on and so forth, that's definitely a way of doing it. <clears throat> So let's see what's happening over here. Gotta kill you. Why is that chest not breaking? I'm trying to get to the egg, but we landed up getting a another the control uh, over here. So we gotta do this quickly. Not as much control as Platy Pet, at least in my opinion, but it is a very, very cool uh temtem. This is much more fun to play with. There's so much more going on on the screen than when we're playing with Platinum Pair. Alright, we got Data Corruption. Why am I not getting the final one? I have no idea. We could go with... Oh my gosh, look at the stats you get over here. You get increased area, increased damage, decreased cooldown, and another projectile. So that's actually pretty insane. Also pretty good that we got that because there's the max level. And we also increased our damage up to plus 15. So... Next level, we should see the evolution or the synergy, but we still got to find it. Look at that data corruption happening in front of us. It doesn't necessarily hit everything. I think area of effect could be really good with it, <clears throat> but we'll have to see how that all goes out with us. All right, there's knockback, as you can see. We can pop our ultimate. There's no point in keeping the ultimate per se, like it does damage to everything. So it just helps us kill everything around us. We're gonna see if we get that synergy. Again, the game didn't really mention it to us, so it doesn't look like it's here. Uh, we do get to different items when we've got too much happening. Uh, we do get another level in that. I don't see the evolution, so maybe we haven't... Oh, do you know what it is? We haven't unlocked the evolution yet. So because this is our first time playing the character, there are things that you need to do that are going to unlock the evolution for you. And we haven't done that yet. So we need to find out what that kudo is to unlock the evolution before we're able to do it. But of course, we will be able to do that in the next video. Hopefully we get that evolution uh, unlocked this video so that we can show everyone next time without evolving our character. I hope it's not the don't evolve him to unlock it because that will be quite a pity because, you know, we want to see what it looks like. Over here we need to defend the egg. We can just put our dart corruptions on the egg itself. Also we got the fire tornadoes and our dart burst is going to the closest enemy. So. As you can see, we actually got that egg done and dusted a lot sooner than we did with the other ones. A lot easier to protect it. And we get ourselves a piggy pack. Let's go. Pig epic, sorry. Uh, divine inspiration, make pig epic invulnerable and increases HP recovery. And then wind blast, uh, wind blast that slightly pushes enemies away. Wind blade. He gains health recovery every 15 levels. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> as far as I remember, Ori's uh, passive was to be able to dash, which isn't the greatest of uh, passives, if you ask me. It's just a dash. Which also, uh, I think all pals, or oh, sorry, all pals, or Temtems land up getting that dash ability anyway. So uh, the fact that he gets it as a passive is kind of meh. Right, we get a lot of pan suns over there because we are full on our stuff. We don't have any other skills that we can get. He can only ha he can only have three skills in the beginning. 
Something doesn't feel right there. Am I just unlucky? <clears throat> first time you play Ori he's so strong and you can only have three skills on them that's pretty intense okay we did find heat sink which reduces the cooldown I don't want a heat sink right now so we're just gonna go with that uh, I would take the skill cooldown instead of the ultimate cooldown uh, the ultimate's very random and non-targetable so I don't really need cooldown on it but that's the item that we unlocked in the previous video with the Platy Pet. And that's what we needed to evolve the wave ability. And we haven't taken a look at that because we do want to have a look at all the other characters. Maybe unlock everything first and then start going with the synergies. I mean it will only be a couple more videos because it's Ori as well as the, uh, the other two characters now Inki and Pig Epic. And then we should be in a spot where we can then look at crazy little uh, upgrades, synergies and things like that with them. But I think getting a first hand look at all the, the Temtem first is going to be a really cool little one. So we've got the next area over here to destroy this place again. I think it gives me a chest if I don't. No, it doesn't. But it's no chest. It does give us the healing and it does give us a freeze enemies around us. I think the fact that the data burst does focus on the closest enemy can be very, very good. Not looking for the lunch gear. I do hope they do land up bringing some reroll mechanic or a banish mechanic into the game eventually because there are a, you only allowed four passives and there are a lot of passives in the game that you're going to land up unlocking as you unlock more and more uh, temtem especially since some of them are going to be sharing uh, different typings or the same typing sorry so they're going to be more digital temtem and you're going to want the digital specific uh, cuts but some of them might be like digital water or digital fire uh, like this one over here is digital fire so if you get like a digital water you're going to get a lot of those water uh, passives as well as uh, digital passives and then the general passive and so on and so forth so you know just my my two cents on the matter hopefully they add like a uh, not a banish but uh, uh, either a, a reroll or they add a system that allows you to deselect certain passives from being in the the run from the start all right so we're gonna grab our ulti over there and just use it i do think we had to do something with our ulti uh using it like something like increased speed i remember reading a kudo about it but we'll see i actually don't remember i know there were kudos with doing a certain amount of damage with the abilities and I really do want to see what Fire Tornado turns into. That's a very exciting one for me to see. But uh, there are synergies that aren't available in the game just yet. I know that the... Uh, I guess we can go with digital damage. Ah, oh, there we go. No, that's not duration. Go digital damage. Digital damage. We could have gone Bold Cloak, but that's okay. We just got four levels there. That's pretty intense. There we go, we used it at the 14 minute mark. 1140 pattern sounds. We should get a whole lot more because of course we're gonna be unlocking a lot of achievements. Even more damage for digital, that's fantastic. I would like fire damage increases over here because of course we're playing with a fire tornado, which I think is dealing quite a decent amount of damage as long as it's hitting things. Also, it's very weird how come he's the only character that they've got a kudo for not evolving him. Like, what happens between not and, and evolving him? It's a pretty easy one to get, though. I mean, he's still very, very strong regardless. As long as you upgrade the skill tree, it makes sense. But we will see. Nestler approaches. I think we're going to be able to kill her in like a couple of seconds, though. 
I'm not too worried about the damage. I think we've got more than enough damage, as you can see, to deal with this cow. Ooh, that hurts a lot. Oh, we got a dash, though. I need to remember that. Need to hit the actual boss. That would be cool. It's our first time, I think, seeing that ability go off, so that's pretty cool. I did just use the dash, which is not cool. And there we go. Done and dusted. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Uh, we are going to need more harder modes, developers. Please release some new content for us. Ah, uh, no, I'm joking. All right, mechanical heat, 11 times used. We did 204,000 damage with darts burst. That's the most amount of damage we've actually done uh, in all of the time that we've played the game. So darts burst is busted, and we didn't even get the evolution yet. So let's see here. We got a pig epic. Uh, mechanical heat projectiles there we go we get the synergy for dart burst and the synergy for data corruption we unlocked a brand new digital uh, attack and we got a synergy for fire okay so this guy actually has a lot of synergies that is fantastic that looks like a double tornado over there so we got uh, a fire tornado plus data corruption and data burst we got a brand new uh, skill over there we did get a gear called stim pack which i'm guessing you need for probably the data corruption or something else over there uh, we got a bunch of uh, pan suns which is cool and let's see over here so use dash 20 times deal 20,000 damage with mechanical heat which gives us an unlock uh, that's okay is there anything else over here which is digital that we might be able to use defeat Oshiara in a minute win a match without evolving him is just for pan suns uh, deal damage with a hologram I don't know how we would do that. Maybe it has something to do with uh, the digital technique over here that we just picked up. Or we have to unlock it. Uh, heal yourself. That Oh, that unlocks hologram. Uh, ooh, I don't know how we're going to avoid damage with it when I can't heal for that amount of damage. Turbo attack is the brand new attack we got. Uh, used Tsunami 100 times. Don't need to worry about that. Equip 4 of the same. No. Deal damage with water cannon. We don't even own water cannon yet. And then deal damage with neutral, deal damage with crystal. Those are with the other characters. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. We do get to take a look at synergies next video and maybe unlock that other pan suns with the, you know, not evolving Ori into the next part. But uh, that is it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And as always, keep safe, survivors. Until next time, cheers.